tampering with this facility is a federal offense. Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. Hey, you folks, what's going on? In today's video, we're doing a $15 Timu budget fishing challenge, but with a team we have never fished with before here such, on the Fishing with Norm man. channel. I just doubled up. For the I'm first double. time fishing on the channel, we have Fishing with Smalls, aka like Mitchell chest. Smallwood, Type the one, the only, Treyway, and the one and only Fishing with Norm. That's a fast flip like Hey yo folks, welcome back to the Fishing with Norm YouTube channel. Come on, it's popping up down below. Let's go to the subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below. Let's your chance to be next to this comment of the day. Today, as you've seen, we're here with Trey. And we are also here with Smalls. The first time this trio has ever hit the YouTubes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this morning, Trey and I drove all the way up here to Smalls. What are we fishing today, Smalls? We are fishing right on the Alabama-Georgia line, and I mean right on. Literally, the Chattahoochee River separates Alabama and Georgia, and we are fishing a stretch of Chattahoochee River that is just below Atlanta. You know, give you a little piece of where we're at without giving away all my <laughs> fishing spots. <laughs> There's also specific types of bass here that you can only catch in this river like the sh shoal, bass. shoal bass. Exactly, yeah. Shoal bass are only native to very, very very select places in the world. And I just so happen to live in one, baby, so hey, get out here, get with me, but I'm not telling you exactly where it's at. Unless you want me to, I'll tell you we're in LaGrange, Georgia. God. <laughs> if you guys have Instagram, Facebook, or anything, I'm sure you've seen this website absolutely everywhere, and it's Timu. So they have tons of stuff online for sale. You might be asking, though, do they have fishing stuff? As a matter of fact, they have a ton of fishing stuff. So behind me, I have a box that I ordered full of Timu fishing gear. Everything in here is under $15. Okay. So the main thing that makes me want to do this is I saw an ad on Instagram for a dollar 89 for a bait caster it looks crazy cool it's like a ton of different colors okay so there's no way that's under real two bucks for under two dollars for a bait caster mm. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> so I opened my computer, I typed in Timu, then I figured out there's way more than just bait casters. They have lures, they have rods, they have tons of stuff. So I just kind of went crazy, spent $200 on Timu. Click, 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 click. <laughs> <laughs> and now inside, we have almost everything Timu has to offer fishing wise, besides like unlimited fishing lures. And I really didn't think it was gonna show up in the door. I was like, okay, holy smoke. So now, what we're gonna do today, we're gonna stick our hand inside the Timu bag. Whatever you grab, you gotta fish with until the bag's empty. So that's your options. Everything in here is under $15. So we're gonna see, can you spend $15 or less and go out and catch bass? Especially different species. Most species today, boys, wins this challenge. So there's largemouth spotted, shoal bass, which is the only place in the world you can catch them, and stripers, maybe some hybrids, maybe some bluegills, maybe some, what else? Shellcracker catfish. That's about it. <laughs> That's it. Oh, and crawfish. We got crawfish in here too. I've never caught one on a bait. Caught one as a kid in a net. Just like flipped over a rock, scooped him up, dude. All right, rock, paper, scissors, see who gets to grab first. Yep. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, this is, how does this, this work? <laughs> how do you? I beat Smalls. Oh, uh, yeah, but, but then the, you beat me, but and I, I beat him. You. Just redo it. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Everybody go with rock. Okay. One, two, three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, oh. <laughs> come on again. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! Okay, I gotta go first, so you guys go to see who goes second. Okay. <laughs> Get it together. Get it together. This is serious. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! All right, so since me and you won, we each get a fishing reel. I don't know or remember what I ordered, so we'll go with that. There's only two fishing reels, so just, Trey actually wins and gets to fish with a reel that we already have. Let's go, baby! All right. No picking. I'm not looking. First thing coming out of the bag. Oh. I'm pretty sure that this is a fishing reel. Looks like a box for a Big Mac. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> there was, oh yeah, it says right hand here. I can't remember if I ordered like bait casters or spinning reels or what it was, but they have hundreds of reels. And I ordered the ones that were under $15, but most of them were like extremely good for budget fishing. So if these work today, it might be the best way to buy fishing reels. Reels under $15. That goes hard. Pretty impressive for yeah. a fishing reel. Under sure. 
course. You guys ready for this? Let's see it. Oh, snap. Ooh. Oh, snap. Oh, oh, that's crazy Ooh. looking. The Pro Barose right-handed force relief alarm. Wait, it's okay. got an alarm. All right, you guys ready for this? I really don't remember what it looked like. I think I just chose ones with the most colors because I thought they'd look cool for thumbnails. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we ready? See that thing? All right, please. I want to fish with a bait caster today. <gasps> oh, it's a bait caster. Dude, that's crazy looking. What? Wow. Holy smokes. Wow. That's awesome. That blows my mind. Already for $15, just reeling it like this. It feels like it looks good. Pretty good. And it looks cool. Dude, that is so crazy. I mean, first off, the reel I'm fishing with today. Beautiful, like, paint job on that. I mean, that looks so cool. And if you had to take a guess at the price, I feel like if you just saw that, you wouldn't guess it was under $15. Definitely guess over probably, I would say that's like 99 bucks. Gosh, I cannot wait to put this up against a fish. So it's your turn. Go next. Here we go. Hmm. A little dolphin action over here. All right. I know you guys are excited. <laughs> uh oh. Oh! Okay. So I have a bait caster as well. I like it. And this one here, she's pretty. It's like a baby blue. Wow, dude. And she's smooth like butter. It almost like doesn't even feel real. I can't think of a single bait caster. Even if you go to Walmart, like a Shakespeare is still over 15 bucks. Right. Like it's weird that you can get this for that cheap. And Another they showed thing, up. thing, guys, look, feel that. That is oh, light. that is very light. It's really smooth. How is that so smooth? Let me give it a go real quick, dude. That feels it feels great. Yeah. Really good. And it's super light. I like that because I don't want to be, you know, wearing my arm or nothing like that. So I like it. All right. Trey, you're next. Just grab into the box. Don't look, don't look. Just grab something, anything. Oh, that is soft, dude. What is that? Oh, it's a pair of glasses. I did not order glasses. I'm <laughs> Oh, dude, it's sunglasses. Dude, fresh shades. Come on. You actually look pretty good in them. Dude, they feel really good. Oh, snap. They snappy. <laughs> well, Trey got sunglasses. I don't remember what I ordered because it was probably like, I don't know, it was back to sitting in my house for two weeks. Don't remember what I got, but I don't think I ordered sunglasses. Let's see. This feels like a lure package. Oh, <laughs> I remember this. It is oh. a hammerhead shark swim bait. Wow. Oh, dude, this is going to be tough to catch one on today. Just, have you guys ever seen a fishing lure like this? I mean, it's a multi-jointed swim bait. It could that work. I was not expecting that today, <laughs> I promise. I just, I remember seeing this on there and I was like, there is no way. I've done so many crazy fishing lure challenges before, but I've never seen a hammerhead shark swim bait. So I'm definitely gonna give this thing its time today on the water, but I mean, just absolutely crazy. Maybe not the best lure to pull out of here. There's some cooler stuff in there, but okay, I think all right. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> I really do. Crazy. All right. Smalls, you're next, dude. I'll hold it for you. Okay. Uh, I want to get down to the bottom of things. Ooh. I can feel your hand on my hand. Well, that's kind <laughs> of the point. <laughs> oh, oh, no. We got some oh, plastic. Let's go. That's what I was hoping for right there. All right. So I do know a little bit about this river, and mm -hmm. this right here is going to catch me. <laughs> We have Sea Sky. Oh, those look so good. Would you Aww. pronounce that Sea Sky or Sea Sky? Sea Ski. Sea Ski. No, Sea Sky. Sea Sky. Sea Sky. Oh, yeah, because it's got a little cloud. Yeah, right. Sea Sky. Premium quality lure. I mean, just for the heck of it, guys, let's just, let's just fill. Let me see those balls. Huh? Dude, what's that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How did that <laughs> Pretty tasty. I think they'll eat it. I think they'll eat it. <laughs> All right, so I got a shark swim bait. Small size, of course. I think the best thing I may be ordered as far as catching fish goes, he grabs first try. All right, Trey, reach your hand in. No looking. No looking, dude. No I'm so can. jealous of I'm also right showing now. my address off, so just blur that in the edit. You guys want to come hang out? Dude, Trey, I'm going to count you down from three, dude. dude You're left or right? Everything. Left or right? Left. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> to take both of them, you got two. I got both. Oh, I got some micro hooks for micro species, and I have some more sea sky. Oh. Minnows. So, Trey, I don't know if you've ever seen these before, but these are going like super viral on TikTok. So, you, I said TikTok like Gary V there. TikTok? TikTok. <laughs> I think what you do is you rig the line through the tail and then it comes up like this. Oh, that's. It's actually crazy. That's kind of wild. They're, oh, they're a little soft. To say, they got some action yeah. on them. I mean, yeah. Huh? I mean, got let's the, go. Got the little split tail in there. Dude, chartreuse and green. I mean, I would call this thing a booty shake. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's go wag that tail. Woo. There is 
absolutely nowhere in town that I've ever been able to find these things, but they are around the world. These things are going super viral. The action on them looks better than most lures that we use typically. We'll pop up some videos. I mean, these things look absolutely crazy. I'm excited to see if it works here in the river. I've always wanted to fish one of these and I'm really sad that you pulled it because I was looking forward to when I was clicking on Timu, I was like, oh yeah, I want to try this. Definitely, but Trey's got them. Definitely the first time I've seen them. All right, so moving bait booby? <laughs> bait, bait? Booby? Is that what the, how that do you- That says boobs. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. You, you, you can sound that out all day. That, that's booby. Oh yeah, so here's the underwater action, Trey. Look at this. Right through. Is that not that, crazy? That is crazy. Different. Trey, you got a fantastic pull. Nor maybe if you're lucky, I might let you use one. I hope so. <laughs> all right, next up, I guess it's me, right? I'm next. Gosh, please don't give me something dumb again. The shark swim bait's so cool, but like, it's just not- It is It's cool. gonna be hard to catch one on that. I got a little, hmm. I'm feeling this, this feels nice. Okay. Yes, okay, okay. I thought it was like a buff on the back. Dude, oh. so these are like, I saw these, I thought they would make for perfect Chatterbait trailers and they were super, super cheap. All right. Oh. Yeah, dude, these would make, have you seen these Those two going viral? Sick. Check that out, Small. So these are like, oh, yeah. oh, nice. Oh my gosh, smell that, that smells terrible. I don't know what just went oh. through my nose. I tasted it. Oh gosh. What flavor is that? Oh. I'm getting like, oh. I don't know what I'm getting. <laughs> I'm getting away from those, I can tell you that. Oh man, all right, well guys, I got these. I thought they would be perfect for trailers on like spinner baits, chatter baits, anything like that. And um, they're just cool and funky looking. And I think these were only like two bucks, so. You could probably even Texas rig it. I, I hope so. I'm happy with this, I'm happy with mine. I would Texas rig it, we are in Alabama. Alabama rig. <laughs> now we're thinking. <laughs> All right, Smalls, you are up next, my friend. Gosh, I'm so happy I don't have to fish with only a shark. And I honestly don't remember how much is in here, so I don't know how long this is There's gonna be going on, but huge, right? We're just gonna go with this. Oh, <laughs> dang it! Oh, the whopper ploppers. And I mean, we got them. We got six of these bad girls right here, and they all look nice. Perfect size, I don't necessarily like the big ones. These are gonna be perfect. Little propeller tail, got the speed on them. And not only per lure, but the whole entire kit was under $15. I mean, they're a dollar or two a lure, which is crazy is savings. Crazy. Like, sure. I'm super excited to see how they run in the water. Gosh, dude. And they feel exactly like like Whopper Plopper brand. I mean, they feel like they've got some serious quality on them. So definitely happy with that pool for sure. So we got a little top water, we got a little bottom water. Looking for some midwater net, we'll be chilling. I don't like how good it's not. <laughs> yeah, fixed Smalls has picked like the best stuff. Trey, go for it. <laughs> Dude, that might be good though. They love top water on the river, right, Smalls? They do. I think that's a top water baby dot. I gotta hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just take it out of this wrapper here. He's kind of sick for real. I got a duck crankbait, dude. Hopefully, bassy duck. Dude, I really think that that thing could get. I do, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it thinking, man, you got a chance out here for real. It's got a little feather on it and everything. Dude, I think that thing was under three bucks. No and it way. is so cool looking. When I saw that, I was geeky because it actually looks like it'd be like really good, like not even like funny good. It's got a little wiggly, wiggly butt on it. Next up for me, dig in here. I got another small package right here. <gasps> I got the jig. No. Let's go. No. <laughs> So jigs are like the best lure to use out here. I've been on this river a couple times and Smalls and AO have always said jigs, jig, jigs. So I ordered one jig on Timu and then picked it. And then I got it out of the package. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. And this was like 99 cents. So super cheap jig, but wow. brown color. I mean, perfect. And hold up. And you got a trailer already. They, they don't necessarily match, but I could use them together. So we're looking good. A little contrast. I'm yes. Okay. Dude, I, I do think, Trey, that duck though. Might go crazy. It might could get happen. Lucky. It could definitely. I like the bottom of the bag. I don't know what I got. What is that? Oh, a pair of line clippers. Go again. Go again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. What do we have here? Oh. Okay, guys. Let me put down my line snips and introduce you to the glide bait. So I saw this on there. It looks very similar to one of the best glide baits ever, the S waiver, but this is way cheaper and it has the magnet. I just, so, I mean, little tilt. Oh, come on. Does it have it in the back too? <laughs> 
It does. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So yeah, paint it up like a little perch. We're basically covering a lot of different bait fish with this one bait. Looks kind of like a bass. Looks kind of like a perch. Looks kind of like a bluegill. Looks kind of like it's going to get ate up. Yeah. One thing about swim baits, guys, it's probably the most expensive fishing lure that they make. Like they can five. get the highest end, like right. by far. Oh, hundreds. Of this, I know it's under $15, but it was really cheap and it's very, very similar looking to some of the most expensive ones in the bass really i don't think they're gonna know the difference yeah. it looks good and i can't believe i got this for really cheap yeah it looks like the roman made the yeah. roman made negotiator or whatever that swim bait is it looks exactly like it dude that's so cool yes sir all right trey you're up next i don't know how much more we got in here i think also just to get this out of the way guys i didn't order this either i think they sometimes just send extra stuff this is a big old bag. I think it's just a whole tackle bag. I Never just, ordered a tackle bag. They just send it in. So tackle bag in here. We'll get that out of the way. So they sent that for free. Yeah. And the sunglasses. Never ordered the sunglasses. That's awesome. Yeah. And they're sunny. <laughs> <laughs> free polarized glasses and a tackle bag is not too yeah, bad. A little dude, bonus. Smalls. I hope I get something good here because I'm just really jealous of you right now, dude. Gotta go to the. Oh no! Oh, let's go. Got a rattle trap. It's always trapping season. Gosh, dude, that's. I look at only that color. Two, I know it. Let's go, a little chartreuse in pink and white. Looks like anything that swims in the hoop. I think it's gonna be good today. Next up, ooh, oh, a, box a little a box. mystery box in the mystery box. Mm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. Yes. Oh, dude. No, it's dude. Five different poppers, oh. and they're good size. Oh they're my size. gosh. All with different paint jobs. Oh, there's six of them. Oh my gosh. Six poppers under fifty. $15. That is ridiculous. And they all look like really good paint jobs on them. So sweet. I got six poppers. Smalls, you're up next, man. Mm, that feels like clothing. How much clothing did you have? Man? I didn't get any clothing. That's why it's weird that I'm feeling things in there I don't remember getting. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing myself on the board with a spotted with these. Okay, we got three of them in there. We got so we got three of these things, guys, and they look juicy like a little crawfish. And this river is slam full of crawfish. So definitely catching one on this green pumpkin. I mean, if I don't eat these, a fish will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Trey, right, you're up next. We're getting like we're getting kind of empty here. So oh, please give me something good. I need the fish luck with me right now. <laughs> He got the best swim bait. I got a <laughs> keeper bass, dude. <sighs> dude, I saw that though, and I'd never seen like an actual largemouth bass swim bait. It's actually, really cool. Hang on, dude. Let's break this thing out of here. That is like a pet. Oh, that is so heavy. That is literally a baby bass. That is wow. Look at the colors on that thing. Looks like a healthy, mean grass bass. But it's a lure. It's a swim bait. Let's There's go. Plenty of them in this river too, big enough to eat that. Let's go. You could definitely catch a giant. On that I got lost in this swim bait section on Timu. There's so many, like I had to stop myself, but I saw like the bass swim bait and I was like, that's funny. Even just for a video in its own, if we don't catch one today on it, like I'd love to catch a big old eight pounder on a one pounder. Like that would be crazy. Animal challenge. Oh yeah. A little food chain in the same family. All right, I'm grabbing something that's skinny and squishy. Oh. Another mystery box bag. Oh gosh, dude. That looks like a scary. Pokemon sleeve. Oh goodness. Charizard. Evolutions pack. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pokemon cards. Oh, oh yes! Oh, oh that is so per I forgot. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got a chatter bait, which on the back, weirdly enough, says spinner bait. And on the front says spinner bait. But guys, my one of my all-time favorite lures. I was just saying this in the last video. I fell in love with the chatter bait. Oh my gosh. And the paint job on this, it's got like a golden shiner. Dude, I'm so good. I just realized that's exactly why I got these two. Was to pair them up together. And I got both that's of them out of the bag. Game. Holy smoke. The thing is, is it gonna run right? You know, chatter baits, yeah. they're either really good or really bad. All right. All right, we'll save this unboxing once we get on the water, but definitely using this today. Definitely Smalls, good pool. go for it. Yes, dude. I think that the only thing left, oh, yep, the only thing left. What is that? It's a t-shirt, size small. <laughs> Is it actually? <laughs> it's extra large. We did it, we did it. <laughs> Wish it was a two A. Okay, I mean, let's just see what we got here. Oh, dude, fitness. Fitness five pounder in my wallet. <laughs> oh, that's oh, a little sun shirt. Bro, I'm telling you, I did not order any of this. Yeah. Hey, boy. 
Put that on. Yeah. To- no, actually, let me toss it on because it's you can't there. put it over the Davy Gravy merch. Like You've that got would a good just, point. That would be disrespectful, dude. It feels feels just like the shirts I want to wear. Honestly, so, it feels nice. I have no clue if this is under fifteen bucks, but because I didn't order it. Wait, if they, it is, that's crazy. They sent you that too? Yeah, I didn't. So they I only you, got fishing lures. They that was sent it. you sunglasses. They sent you a shirt, and they sent you a tackle bag, all free. Yes. <laughs> wow. That's snazzy. Oh, what's up? All right, so we have unboxed everything that we ordered. There's tons of more stuff on Timu. So I have a link down below in the description for you guys. They sponsored today's video with $100 in coupons if you guys want to go try to get some fishing stuff. And just from what I've seen, for the prices we've got, we're going to go test it out on the water, but just from the looks of it, it looks pretty good they for the price. Look good. Definitely look good. I am thrilled with what I got, Trey. I don't really know what you're thinking, <laughs> I'm sad. Yeah, you got a lipless crankbait, though, so I'm, I'm happy. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, you can throw that all day and then definitely catch some fish. So. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go try. Me and Trey are going to go try to catch our first ever shoal bass. Yes, sir. Have a little fish and slam. And, uh, yeah, once again, thanks to Timu for sponsoring. They're having a 90% off sale right now on a ton of stuff on their website. So, guys, make sure you go check it out. Link in the description. But let's dump her in, boys. Get this fishing challenge started and fish let's with some super budget fishing lures. Let's go. All right, we're here. We're here? Yes, sir. How's my hair look? Am I good? You're good, you're good. Okay. Am I good? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Trey, here's your combo. Oh, you want the duck or you want the trap to start? I want the trap. All right, saving the best for last, I yep, see. Yep, yep. All right, yeah. yeah, I'll let you do that. I got a, uh, <laughs> I got a chatterbait with that like weird swim bait, whatever thing, like the trendy. It looks good. It looks body. very good. And dude, I mean, the reel on that thing looks so good, but we'll see how she casts. I'll let you guys get your stuff. I'll get out of the way. So I got mine right here, guys. This reel is gorgeous. Looking like some shiny cotton candy. And bait of choice was the creature bait. Looks just like a crawfish, and that is what they eat. And we're going for the win. Boy, you already know. We about to go trapping. Let's go. <laughs> got my favorite bait. You should be hating on the rattle trap, but then I threw it a little bit, started getting some bites on it. I was like, oh wait, this bait's super sick. I like this. First cast, brand new new reel. Gosh, let me make sure I set it. I don't know how this is going to go, dude. I mean, it, they're so cheap that you just assume that they're not going to be good, but they look so cool. All right, that looks good. My brakes are on the maximum. We'll start with maximum brakes and then we'll lower if needed. Okay. Okay. Not, that cast not bad four. at all. <laughs> it sounded like very interesting, but I mean, dude, it casted. The handles like are really weird, but I kind of like them. <laughs> First cast for me. Uh-oh. -uh. Dude, that sounded good. It did. We've got her a little tight. I mean, she's she needs to be loosened up a little bit, but. Guys, because it's summertime, we decided to start on the edge of the bank that has a ton of shade. And I think I was here like two years ago with AO. The first time I actually ever fished with AO was here at the river. Right. And we fished this stretch and I mean, it was insane. But obviously that's tons of years ago and I don't know if it was summertime. So we'll see how it goes, but I got a good feeling with what we got. I mean. These reels are casting great, and the chatterbait feels amazing in the water. So I got a good feeling that we might uh, see ourselves a couple bass today. I am impressed with my reel. I really am. She casts like a dream, and she's super light, dude. That's what I like. I want a light rod and reel. Mine's definitely louder <laughs> if that was a competition. Gosh, we're going to get bit at some point. I just know it. It's going to happen. Oh, dude, there's like, what was that in the water? It looked like an otter. Ah, uh, so we have a ton of like muskrats. We have a lot of river otters, tons of beavers, the occasional soft shell, bunch of snapping turtles. There's we got a bunch of stuff in here, man. We even got gators if you go on down river a little bit. A buddy of mine just killed a uh, 11 and a half footer. I got a fish. I got no, a fish. I got a fish. I got a fish. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, it's a bass. Oh, come here. Yes. Show bass. No, it's a large bass. Oh, I'm hooked! It's a largemouth! You hooked me, dude! Why'd you do that? First ever Chattahoochee River largemouth bass. So sick to break the ice early. He almost hooked me, and I was very scared. Not gonna lie. But you bit my rattle trap from Timu. And for that, I thank you, little guy. So sick. Smalls! Dude, Captain Smalls! Dude, Captain Smalls, dude! Hey, I'm just out here guiding. What can I say? Dude, that took you like two minutes, like at the max. That was like, what, your second or third cast? That was quick. 
<laughs> that was unnecessary. <laughs> yeah. He just splashed everything. Out of boy trash. Let's there go, Norm. Strike, dude, on the lipless. Fish I knew the ball. lipless was gonna be fire. Good job, dude. Fist bump. Let's see ya. Boom. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Playtime's over, boys. We're going to the duck. All right, that makes me feel good. Trey instantly already definitely, got bit. Definitely makes you feel better whenever you go ahead and get the first one in. Oh, oh. no, no, oh no, 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 I cannot lose this chatterbait. Oh no, I'm pretty sure I just lost my chatterbait. No, dang it. I mean, we might can get it back. <laughs> Dude, this thing cast far though. I didn't even think it was gonna hit that. I wouldn't worry about that thing that says danger or high <laughs> voltage or anything like that. Just climb up there and get it. Uh, I might, for real. Of course I would throw my chatterbait on top of the thing that says stop restricted area, stay back a hundred feet. Warning, tampering with this facility is a federal offense. I mean, what does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we're in a state right now, so I don't think federal has any jurisdiction. All right, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. Hey, yeah. Norm, don't pay attention to the cameras up there. Is there actually? Yeah. Oh, dang. <laughs> we're good, we got cameras too. I'll do anything for a $2 chatter bait, including tampering with federal property. Oh, oh no, my rod. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> dang it. Don't break the law, kids. All right. Gosh, how did I do that? I literally got it stuck on the this is only evil sign. All right. Well, now I'm in a different calamity. All right. We Ready got her. <laughs> Bring her to me. Ow. <laughs> All right, now how do I get back down? We'll just come back and pick you up in a little while. Gosh, I'm, I'm scared right now. Oh, there is a big security camera right up there. I definitely think I can grow my channel right now oh, by just taking off and leaving him. YouTuber leaves other YouTubers stranded overnight. 24 hour federal trespassing challenge, challenge starts now. Uh oh. All right, we're just going to do it and see what happens. Oh no. Ooh. Let me move Ooh. this. Yep. Ooh. Yes. Sir. <laughs> the athleticism. Oh. Dude, now I better catch one of that chatterbait. <laughs> Sir, I present you with your rod and reel. Gosh, that's dumb. Why would you put something that you can trespass on in the middle of a river where we're trying to fish? Gosh, this all looks so good, dude, with the shade. It's tons perfect. of logs and trees falling in the water, and you just know there's rocks down there. It's perfect. Dude, you know, if you ever dive in this river, too, like there's, there's fish under most every one of those logs. Really? Like really, almost all of them have a fish, and they'll sit like there. Like literally just right under it in the shade. As a matter of fact. Oh God. my gosh, dude, that was so crazy. crazy. You just called that. Okay, dude, that was probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, wow. little large mouth. I mean, she ain't. Something's wrong with this fish. I'm oh. just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's not big, but she is a fish and she gets me on the board. We're going to treat her with some respect. Let's talk about how. Little release on her. Almost fall in the water. Let's go, dude, on the board. That's the definition of dialed in fishing. When you can say exactly how it's gonna happen in real time. And then it happened. Yeah, yeah that was impressive. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda nervous just being here with you right now. <laughs> so I'm going to swap over to a top water. We're fishing a little spot right now. It's got a ton of shade and I feel like I can catch one on these, but the question is, which color? I mean, we have so many. Ooh, what you got? What you working with, man? To be honest with you. Oh, that's the one that's right there. The, you, you feel me on that? Yeah, that's yeah. the one. I think we, sure. I feel like Either me, that one or that one. I feel like we fish a lot alike. I really do. I feel like we look for the same type stuff. A little translucent action on them. Translucent means you can see. It's translucent. Because it's lucent. Yeah. Oh, but you know what I have on? Gosh, Fluorocarbon line. Three. Oh, no one's still fishing for squirrels. <laughs> y'all say y'all saw a five squirrel? I, so we actually all pulled a top water, and I want to start with mine with you guys. Oh, I thought I had one with you guys, but I just can't catch one on a shatter bait yet. I can only throw it on federal property. <laughs> you have been known to throw it on, you know. Yeah, I don't even see anything now. I feel like we're able to see him. I think he just came off the floor throwing something Definitely going to catch one on this. Yeah, for sure, a hundred percent. I feel like if I could get it back there, 
be money. Dude, if I can catch one of this duck, I don't know. It's about to be crazy for real. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, small. Oh, small. Sorry, dude. I got. <laughs> I got bumped once or twice. <laughs> What's the action like on that? Is it, oh, you're like cranking it. It's kind of like a crankbait of sort. Not really a floating topwater like I'd imagined. Yep. What is this small as a pumpkin seed? Look at the orange on her tail. His tail, whatever it is. Norm, didn't you say this is a multi-species challenge? It is, yeah. Dude, no way. <laughs> I've now caught two species. I don't know what this is, but some type of sunfish. And he bit the duck. No way, so crazy. Thankful for this bite and thankful to catch one on the duck. I've caught one on the rattle trap, caught one on the duck. Next, I'm going with the sea sky. Premium quality lures. It almost reminds me of like some type of soft plastic minnow, like fluke style bait. To rig it, you run your line through this little opening in the tail, slide it up, get rid of it. You don't need it. Take this micro size hook that they give you, then you rig it kind of like that. That is probably one of the weirdest lures I think I've ever rigged up or thrown in my life. Let's see if we can catch a fish on it. That can be a good thing, dude. Oh, I just got like tapped by like a bluegill or something. Got me excited. Oh my gosh, Smalls! What is that? <laughs> oh, what in the world? <laughs> what an appetite! I mean, this guy's acting like me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking about came up and smoked it. And I mean, if you were to hold the camera the right way, we could make this thing look like a giant. Uh, she is though a large mouth, so still only one species for me, but. We got two on the board. <laughs> I wonder if that's what tapped yours, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was wondering because it felt so. Got him! No! Got cream? Yeah, just a little. I think we're in like a school little squeakies. Well, so far, Smalls has caught two, Trey's caught two. I have not even had like an actual grab. I think I've been bit by like a bass that's smaller than my chatterbait. But besides that, nothing yet, but normally a chatterbait's like a big fish lure. So hopefully, hoping a big old spot or large mouth will come along, catch one. But for me so far, nothing. But Trey catching one on a duck, now that was pretty crazy. All right, so we just took off our whopper plopper. We did catch one small bass on it. On the board with the whopper plopper, but now I wanna go ahead and go to the worms that we have. And these are sea sky fishing worms. Look pretty good. And I'm going to rig this up on a Texas rig. Just like so. See what we can do. Bit. It's like, I was thinking it just because it's like trailer so small and weird. Fish! Uh huh. Really? Oh, small! Nice! Oh, the worm! That was epic! Let's go! Oh, that's a good one, too. Uh -huh. I mean, let's just let you know what we called that thing on. The Sea Sky Fishing Premium Quality Lures 6529220234. Item number, baby. <laughs> you gotta know your item number. Awesome fish. A little release on it? <laughs> <laughs> they have all like slashed the lens. <laughs> so this is gonna be the last one, guys. And we're gonna tie it on in a minute. So yeah, I've caught a fish on every bait that I have, except for this one. I'm gonna throw this worm around just a little bit more, see if I can catch another one around these pylons. Then, we're going for the big girl. Guys, Smalls and Trey have been killing it, and I think it's about my time to get back in the game, but it's been awesome though. Like it's so cool fishing here instead of like a lake or pond. Cause that's normally what we always do. And just fishing in the current, it's a completely different style. So much fun and it just looks cool too. I think the more and more the sun goes down to later in the day, maybe the more we could catch. And we haven't even fished where the water's rushing in up there and that could be We're gonna get pretty there. saucy. It looks, I, it looks juicy. It looks too good to not catch one. I can see that fluke just getting. In the spillway? Yeah. Four under lay down probably. No way, no way again! You 
Is that a good one? Oh, nice! Ooh. Oh! <laughs> no! Yeah, that's exactly where I want to go after doing that. <laughs> Straight to the liquor store, man. Golly. Dude, I think that was a spot, too. You saw it was, line. yeah. God. Dang. You saw the hook set, though. I, 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 I took my rod and went, uh. so, I wasn't supposed to catch that fish. I mean, that was like rookie move of the year, not rookie of the year. But. Dude, that was two ends in a row. Like, that one and then this post. Both had a fish on them. I will say, though, both of them ate yeah. it when it was, like, on the bottom, barely moving. And it had been in the same spot for, like, a while. A I thought while, you were yeah. Past. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to just crawl my chatterbait on the bottom. Wait, hold up. Get it. Oh, let's it's go! Down. I'm on! I'm on! Let's go! Finally, sit, dude. Dude, dude, it might even be not that bad. It's either that or I have a $15 reel or both. Oh, 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 no. oh no. let's go! <laughs> oh, there's a thank you. Oh, Louis, get, him, get him, Norm. Get him, Norm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's a big one, too. Holy smokes. Wow. Guys, check that out. I mean, we've probably been out here for how long, guys? Like an hour and a half, probably? Uh, yeah. And I'm watching these guys just reel in bass after bass. And I've gone fishing enough days to know if you keep your lure in the water and you keep on making good casts, eventually one of these girls will come and grab it. And that might be just the biggest one of the day so far. And it's just so much different. I mean, three hours up from where I live, the bass look completely different. It's so cool. And they're so strong because they live in the current all day. What a fun fight. I think it's time to let her go, dude. Let's go. Bro. It happened, man. Oh. Now I got the monkey off my back. Yes, I think sir. it's about to start happening and I get to make a lure switch, which is going to be awesome. Right off the chain of the rocks. All right, we're going to let her go, guys. All right, guys, about time I got me one. That was like the first bite, and I was reeling her in right in the shade off those rocks. It was a lot of fun, but I'm gonna do a little lure switch up. There's no like requirements to this challenge to switch your lures. It's just basically showing you guys you don't need like a ton of cash to come out here, have fun, and catch some fish. I mean, everything, like you guys know, is under $15 besides our rods, but they have tons of options for rods as well. But I think I'm gonna switch. I don't even know what. I fit everything into my little reel box. It's doubling as a little tackle box. I think next, I don't know if I want to go with the jig, but I also have a ton of topwater lures, and I thought this one just looked the craziest. I know I got to catch one on the jig, and I got to try throwing this thing around. Dude, after filming so many fishing videos and getting stressed so many times that my hairline started running back to, you know, <laughs> my back. Oh my god! Oh! That was sick! No way! On the fluke! Come here, please! Large mouth, come here! Oh, yeah. Let's go! Grass bass in Georgia, dude! Look how he ate that sea sky minnow right through the top of the nose. That fish came straight out of the hydrilla and smashed it. So awesome, dude. Dude, smalls. I saw that happen. That was awesome. Trey, <laughs> in the span of like three minutes, we had a spot there, I caught one there, and then you caught a largemouth on like the newest invention of fishing. Touchy fluke, I don't even know what to call it. It's fluke. He folds like this. <laughs> and I caught probably one of the prettiest bass I think I've ever caught. I mean, straight out of the hydrilla, super dark green all the way through. So healthy, so sick. Dude, smalls. No way, smalls! Oh, <laughs> I felt him tapping on it for a while. I was like, he feels small. I don't know if I need to set the hook. I love these fish so much, man. Gave up baseball for these little guys. Cheers to you, my friend. Dude, uh -huh. let's go. Dude, Smalls, uh -huh. thanks for bringing me out here, dude. This is <laughs> yes, awesome. Yes, sir. Putting us on them. Putting, I mean, I ain't putting you on no big ones, but I mean, hey. Hey, any fish are better than no fish. That's right. And any fish is cool, because I've never caught them on the Chattahoochee River. So it's a first for me. So, so awesome. a little, little release together. Yeah. Fish bump. Let's go. Let's go. That was awesome. When I was a kid, I was out here every day. I mean, really, truly, probably three or four days a week. So after a span of six months, to be able to come out here and do this again, especially with these guys, is awesome. Well, guys, tied on the top water. Saw some blowing up right over here where this water's pouring in. So figured, you know, we saved the jig for later. See if we can't get old rainbow popper to get blown up on. Also, just realized that I think my GoPro was off during my chatter bait fish catch. So, um, I'm, I'm new to the YouTube thing, guys. Just forgive me. I'll, uh, I'll try to do better next time. I actually am a fan of the paint job. 
It's kind of like an ice cream paint job. <laughs> I feel like it's a, uh, you know, like the superhero popsicles you got in elementary school. You ever get those? I did. I did. <laughs> Had the great big eyeballs and they were candy. Yep. That you didn't really like. Oh, dude, that's look at the water it spits out. It's perfect. Oh my gosh. I, I'm for sure gonna be pranked on this today. Oh my gosh, you got one. Ooh, ooh, he's running to you. What you got? What you got? What what you got? You, what's on there? Oh, it's a big bass. Oh, dude, it's a big bass. It's a big bass. <laughs> big bass. Big bass. Oh my gosh, balls. Yo! Holy cow! That's a shot. No, you did. Woo! Wow, dude. Wow. Let's go. Wow. How about that? Definitely in the hydrilla. So we've, we've made it to basically like a long stretch of hydrilla. And these fish are in and around it. And they're pretty too. That's one thing about the a lot of fish around here. They've almost got like a yellow belly to them, like a really yellow tint to the belly. So I think they're gorgeous. It's so crazy what the river can do. You can catch sunfish on docks and then catch a big old bass. And then it really is. Catch a spot. It's so cool. I'm gonna get to the other side of this and see if I can just turn around. Well guys, rigged up the jig and uh, Smalls was kind enough to give me the little creature bait on the back. It was like my vision when I ordered this stuff online was the pair of these two up and it actually looks crazy in the water and I trimmed the skirt a little bit and a little life hack, if you push the brush guard up, it'll spread it just like that and your hookup ratio will be better than it all being condensed, less likely your hook finds the bass. So as long as you're not fishing like crazy wood, which we're in rocks right now, you'll be good. I like a better hookup ratio and being a little bit more weedless, but anyways, lure number two for me. Finally get to throw the jig. Let's get it. Confidence level went up. Yeah, yeah, now that I got the jig in. <laughs> actually, since I've caught one now, I feel fantastic. I think the first one's always the hardest. The first one, and then in a tournament, the fifth one's always the hardest. Right. Come on. Now I just feel like every cast I should catch one. That's when you know it gets, <laughs> when you get a little selfish is when you're like, yeah, I, should, <laughs> I got a jig on, I should catch one first cast now. Gosh, shoot, I'm gonna jack one on this. I just already know it. I'm sending this hook set to the moon. That little creature bit on the back of this actually looks crazy. Yeah, I think that was like a little sampler pack that was 99 cents. Well, <laughs> guys, Trey randomly decided to jump in the water, so I think we're all gonna kind of go for a little bit of a swim, but I'm bringing my rod with me because I am only caught oh, one fish and my wait GoPro wait. was off. What? A crawfish. No, no way. way. Oh, yeah! <laughs> So that's what these guys are out here eating. Very similar. Well, actually, like that. That just shows you how many are in here, dude. I just look down and randomly, bam. Crawfish. <laughs> dude, I don't think I've ever seen a crawfish that dark. They are all this dark in here. That is why black and blue jigs are like money. I see that. Well, guys, we have decided to take this mission from boat to foot. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Norm's falling everywhere right now. We're swimming all the way up to some big old rocks up here. And there's gonna be so many bass looking for those crawfish they're trying to hide under these big old chunk rocks. <sighs> oh yeah. I made it to the rock. I wanted to make it through the whole time. Look at this. Fish in paradise, baby. Here we go. Come on, give me a little bass or something. There's so much like good grass over here too, guys. Holy smokes. As cool as it looked, not a single bite. Oh. Mm. 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 straight through the strongest part of the current. Oh, let's go! That was crazy. Smoke the jig from Timu. Yeah, let's go. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> oh, Dude, it's a freaking football. I had one too. You had one, Trey? I had one. 
Oh my goodness. Came right up. Guys, that is just a absolute football. Holy smokes. Tummied up. And my GoPro is at 1%. Wow. That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful largemouth bass. Let you go, girl. Thank you so much for the fight. Holy smokes. See you, girl. Yeah, let's go, guys. Come on. Caught one on the jig and a good one, too. That was epic. That was so crazy. I threw it up in the current, just let it sit, like didn't even work it. On my way back, because my GoPro battery is about to die, I just felt it in the court just go dunk in the slack lot. I was like, wham! <laughs> Dude, it was crazy, bro. That means one thing though, I have a popper left and that's like, that's it. I heard you film saying that you're gonna give up and then <laughs> and then next thing you know, got him. I was like, back to the boat we go. <laughs> and then I'm, all I have left now is the popper, and then we have the shark and the big bass swim bait. But guys, 10,000 likes on this video. We'll go and we'll fish with like a big swim bait only challenge, and those two will make an appearance. So make sure you guys hit the like button. But we're gonna go fish. This is your favorite part of the river, Smalls, on this side, right? It is. From here down is where I've caught more fish than anywhere else on this river. So. Could be yeah. good, dude. Should be good. Amazing. And the river is coming back up as we speak, which should get those big girls chomping. And that's what we want. We need them chomping. All right, well. I got a popper, and then if I catch one on the popper, we got till the sun goes down. It should, in theory, just keep getting better. So we're gonna leave our island and get back in the boat, catch some big old bass. Well, I feel like now's a good time to talk about the reels and the lures. Dude, I mean, I've been very impressed with my reels. I have, and for the, for the price, I mean, mine's making noises, obviously, but it's casting i've hooked some pretty hard fighting fish in current and they haven't like broke or anything which i mean you can't really ask for more normally bait casters are hundreds of dollars like the extremely nice ones right and even like one that's you know considered cheap nowadays is like 40 50 bucks i feel like to right. get like a black max or something for sure oh my gosh trey oh, i saw that Smalls, dude, I, if you'd have gave me a Whopper Popper earlier, I would say you could... Oh, the Popper, that was so crazy! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hope he's still on there. I don't think he, no, he's still on there. He's still on there. I don't know, I don't know, dude. It was really an awesome blow up, though. And this would complete all my lures besides the shark swim bait. Yeah, there we go. Dude, that was such a cool blow up, bro. He came like, I'm talking like out of the water all the way on the rainbow popper. Oh. oh my goodness. So we caught him on top water today, caught him on a chatterbait, hopping it, and caught him on a jig, all in different places. So much fun. Sun's going down right off the edge of the bar. Beautiful. I'm gonna let this one go. I'm gonna keep throwing top water, guys. Until the sun goes down, you got to. <laughs> all right. Dude, give me a fish bump. Yes, sir, man. Let's go. So you've completed yours. But well, besides the shark swim bait, but I mean, but I mean, is that gonna happen? I don't know. You're gonna tie them? <laughs> Should I? No. <laughs> just, <laughs> just to be honest. Is I mean, it Is it possible or like it's really not? It's definitely possible. I just wouldn't call it probable. Well, guys, we got. Aren't those some of your favorite rocks up there? Are you throw crank bits on those? I remember Ao yes, telling me about yeah, that. Yeah, for sure, 100. percent All right. Well, I'm gonna throw top water on it. So we still got a little bit more to fish. Gosh, it feels so good to catch one on I all bet it lures. does, man. To seal the deal on all of them? Yeah. That was a sick eat. Dude, that was so much fun. I really, I really, like, I I had a good feeling it was going to happen, but also at the same time, I didn't think it was going to. And then when it did, it was just such a relief. We are going to head to the mouth of a creek. Last fishing spot, see if we can't get, like, one or two more bites. Uh, just for fun. We basically completed the challenge, but we don't get a fish all that often. Actually, we never have got a fish together, so we don't want it to end, so we're gonna keep on fishing. Run to one last spot and uh, see if we can't end it on a little extra bonus fish catch for you guys. Last cast, I promise. <laughs> I'll be home in 10, honey. Yeah, really. Bro. But 10 could mean anything. That's right. Yep. I'll be home in one 10 pounder. <laughs> never come home. <laughs> oh, I see the creek mouth, holy smokes. Oh, was that your lure landing, or was that I a- I think it was a turtle. But I could be wrong. Oh, okay. I want it to be a fish. <laughs> I, I didn't cast right through that log because of that one that I was used to. Yep. But 
there's some rocks right through there. So whoever's got top water, I would definitely make a cast as far as you can towards that lay down tree over there. Mm. And you're gonna be coming straight over like some really good rocks. That way? Yeah. Oh like I would sand cast all through that. Got it. Oh my oh gosh, my gosh, gosh, what is that? What? Oh it's a big bass! Yes, dude. No way! Oh boy, Oh it's a big one! It's a oh it's a good oh one gosh, for real! Oh my oh. 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 You got it? I got him! Oh dude, that's like oh. Like a four pounder. Oh. <laughs> oh no way, dude! That's insane. Got the dude smalls. Thank you for the whopper bobber, bro. Oh, that's so sick. Go, dude. What smalls? No way, dude. That's a four pounder all day. He's close to five. Yes, On the ultralight, dude. That was sick. Dude, we gotta take a picture with that. <laughs> One last look at this awesome fish. It's hot out here, it's getting dark. Let's get her back. Dude, Smalls, let's go, dude. Let's go. Give me some of that, dude. I like Thank it. Thank you so much, bro, fish for pump. real. <laughs> All right. Well guys, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. I would say the Team Wu Challenge is a success. Remember, 10,000 likes on this video. I guess just this trio again, we'll take all the swim baits out. We'll find a cool place to take these swim baits. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Smalls. He's gonna be linked down below. And then also Trey's Instagram is gonna be linked down below, but I think he's making a YouTube channel soon. So be on the lookout for that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Until the next fishing adventure, Fish Ball, I'm out of here. Oh, for sure. Don't do it yet, but do it on the 24th, but yeah. Yep. Golly, what a day. Also, another reason why I love fishing with more people is it's just more stuff happens, you know, like... Ooh, yep. Oh, 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 what is it? Oh, oh it's a nice. bass. Another one. <laughs> Let's go. And it's oh. a spotted bass. And she's tummied up. I mean, tummy up, baby. A little side shot, them tummies. Hmm? <laughs> I mean, hey, we've been eating. What can I say? <laughs> Pretty little fish, though, man. I don't know how long the fish are going to be on the ramp. Dude, something just moved on that as soon as you landed on it. I don't know if you saw that. Dude, honestly, I think that the biggest fish I've ever hooked came from that cast. And it straightened my hook, and I never saw it. Ouch, that'll hurt your feelings. Yeah, on a jig, I had to learn that some dirty jigs have terrible hooks. The light wire? Yeah. And you just had to learn the hard way, unfortunately. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh -uh. smalls. Uh-uh. No way. Feels like a pretty decent fish. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, dude, oh, the fish was trying to eat it. He's with one. Get him. Oh, no, 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 Trey, throw your lure in there. Throw oh, your lure in there. There's a giant oh. bass behind his. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think, dude, I, what is I going on? I think that I have this fish hooked in the tail, baby. <laughs> I mean, guys, it's one thing if you can come out here and hook them in the mouth, but if you can hook them upside down, tell everybody bye, little girl. That was awesome. Dude, did that was you sick. see that bass? Yeah, trying, trying to, to eat, eat it. it. Yeah. Oh gosh, man. You gotta love this junk.